Hey folks, welcome to prototype number three of the cable reel from a functional Pip-Boy 3000 Mark IV from Fallout 4. Uh, so if you watch the other two videos, I've been trying to update this cable reel to be better with less friction, and I think I've succeeded. Fortunately right now I have to use two springs, but as you can see here, it does work. even uh, strong enough to lift the entire cable so I made quite a few improvements on this um, this is just a slightly different shape for the uh, pogo pin uh, circuit board that'll be here uh, just simply to make sure that I clear if this little pin on the pogo board or on the uh, the prowl let me take us apart a bit show you uh, what I've done So this circuit board will have four pogo pins for USB plus and minus five volts and data plus and minus. Then this will be a uh, circuit board that will have a slip ring on it, four little rings of uh, copper. And then on the back side it will have four little dots that the uh, cable gets soldered to. Alright, so here's the internal mechanism. I've uh, slimmed down the prowl and I've made it so that it takes less effort to go in one direction than it does the other direction. I've reduced the number of catches such that there's only three catch points. Unfortunately right now the catch points are really sensitive because there is only three and they kind of got a short uh, landing pad. Oops, about to lose my springs here. Um, so I may still try to update those but right now it takes very little friction for this to return. So as it pulls out, make sure the spring doesn't fly out. The prowl does work as far as you can lock it. Let go, and it winds up. It winds up really fast, actually, right now. Uh, so I did have to use two springs. This was uh, somebody on the uh, form, RPF forums had uh, mentioned. Uh, sorry if I forgot their name. Uh, as a, an idea to help kind of double the power, it did work. Uh, one With one spring, this works really well without the uh, slip ring attached. Uh, so I'm going to try to find a beefier spring that is still six millimeters wide, but twice as thick of metal. And that'll help solve some of these uh, other issues. Uh, the other improvements I did here, which you can't really, it's kind of hard to see. Let me remove some parts here. Is I changed the cable reel to an actual reel. Before I had a single sided reel, uh, the problem was that the cable would actually uh, rub up against the uh, back causing friction. So now it's just got a whole little channel that it sits in. So it basically just winds up about four windings. And then the cable length kind of stops it so it doesn't wind all the way back to zero. Just enough space. And then this will be how the Pip-Boy will interface a little quarter turn bayonet. So good successful third test. Um, once I find a, a beefier spring that I like, uh, hopefully... Uh, I can get this uh, completely working 100% and this will be done. Thanks for watching.